Hello, my friends, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In yesterday's video, we attended a wake with Lady Yennefer, and now she's having us help her steal something while the wake's going on upstairs, I suppose. But it's going to help us find Siri, I think, so totally legitimate reasons. So we opened the secret passage at the end of yesterday's video, and Yennefer is patiently waiting for us, so let's go catch up with her. Anything else around here? Oh, okay. This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. <laughs> Um, I would like to put on some actual clothes to protect myself. So let's get those back on. And then let's get on our oil, which is Elementa oil, I think. We'll go with it. Yennefer's here to help us, right? Gosh. Yennefer, watch out. He's, he hits really hard. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Monster eye. Hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Ah, look for a way around the trap. Okay. Um. 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 I I I don't know. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Uh, we're gonna choke and die. <laughs> Hold on tight. Hi. <laughs> No, heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. <laughs> We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. Go on, go do it. Go drop your thing. I believe in you. My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man, a woman, win. Uh, 
Oh, I hope she wins. What's oh, I hope she wins. She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to Speakerog. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. <laughs> Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. <laughs> Carol just nodding yes, yes, agreeing with him. <laughs> How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Mm -hmm. We know where Ciri might have been. I need your help with Aramon. Hmm. Well, maybe he can just give us permission to get in there? Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms, right on natural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. <laughs> At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thanks. I, do I need to talk to him? Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an odd skellic on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Hmm. So, thought all giants died ages ago. Giants? They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here and Artskelleg. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Okay, and Ceres intends to lift Ulderic's curse. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. 
Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Ulrich further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. But what if she's not wrong? What if she's right? Can't she be queen? Because that would be so cool. She's so awesome. Again, unless she's a horrible person, and then my crush will be ruined. <laughs> anyway, no desire to be king yourself? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. Yeah. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Okay. Well, yes, of course I'll help your children. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later. So much information. It's all good stuff, though. The king is dead. Long live the king. Well, let's try to find that one first. Lots of updates on this one. So Bran's wake was in full swing, with mead flowing plentifully and Geralt making quite a splash with the Jarls, when suddenly Yennefer announced she needed to meet with the Witcher in a more private setting. Yet she did not have in mind what you do, dear reader. Instead, she wanted Geralt to accompany her as she broke into the druid er Erimon's laboratory. Her goal? To steal the artifact known as the Mask of Urub or Ouroboros. Something like that. As you can see, life with Yennefer was full of surprises, a fact that Geralt had grown used to, and even one dare say quite fond of. Did she ever tell us why she needed the mask? I mean, I assumed it was to find Ciri, but anyway. Uh, after much wandering, Yennefer finally acquired the mask. She saw it as Aramon's laboratory had grown rather dangerous. She, she teleported Geralt and herself back to the wake where they landed with a thud in the middle of an ongoing party. Luckily, all the feast goers were already too inebriated to notice anything out of the usual. Crack on Crate only arrived as the wake was drawing to a close. He and the other girls had locked themselves away in a proverbial proverbial smoke-filled room to scheme plans for Skellige's future. That business finished, he now pulled Geralt and Yen aside for a talk. When he heard they were searching for Ciri, he agreed at once to provide them with anything they needed. Luckily for Croc's treasury, Yennefer did not need everything, just er Eremon's Ermians. I think it's Ermian. It's got to be Ermian. I'm adding in vowels again. Ermian's permission to examine a mysterious deformed forest, the result of a magic explosion that might have involved Ciri. Croc promised to convince er Ermian and his and as his word was reliable, as his beard was red, Geralt and Yennefer set off at once towards the magic damaged wood. And I'll do that, but so that's Echoes of the Past. But then I got other quests, I'm assuming. The Family Blade. Look for Thieves' Camp near Obelisk. Hmm. And Lord of Unvik. This was his kid's quest. Or his son's quest. And then this is his daughter's quest. The Family Blade. Look for Thieves' Camps near the Obelisk. Um... Someone stole his family blade. Kuliu from the Care Troll treasure room. The infuriated Jarl promised a fat bounty to whoever could find his sword and punish the thief. I don't remember getting that, but okay. Well, let's look where all these things are and see if there's any other updates that I should potentially be aware of. Okay, so we've got question marks over here. We've got a quest right there. 
more notice boards a plenty and then four lag is over there i don't know what's over here harvican something over there and Urilla harbor so i've got all of these documents that are supposed to unlock fast travel points so let's get through these first so the lonesome world guide to art skellige what time of year is the best for, to, for visiting Ard Skellig anytime? <laughs> to whom is such a sojourn recommended? To anyone who seeks adventure, craves miraculous uh, views, and adores charming villages. These last Ard Skellig, these last Ard Skellig has in spades. It is the most densely inhabited isle in the archipelago. Though this does not mean it lacks virgin forests or untrammeled landscapes, particularly worth of a visit are the villages of Ranveig, Aaron Bjorn, and last but not least, Holmstein, one of the most important ports in all of the Isles. Anyone lucky enough to enjoy the sea voyage to Aaronborn will surely notice the majestic lighthouse guiding ships to its harbor built at the behest of the famed Jarl Skjordal. It constitutes one of the most fascinating spots on the Isle, offering breathtaking views of the entire region. The most spectacular vista on Ard Skellig, however, must certainly be that of Kertrold, a fortress cut out of the mountain overlooking the bay and serving as home seat to the powerful Oncrate clan. According to legend, Grimjar, mythical Skellig hero and founder of clan Oncrate, carved the fortress with his bare hands. For more on this, see the history and culture sections. It's a cool castle built into a, a rock, into a mountain. So cool. So the Lonesome World Guide to Pharaoh, the most southerly thrusting outcrop of the Skellige Archipelago, is the wild and untamed Isle of Pharaoh. Visiting here is a must for experienced travelers undeterred by unexplored wilderness and nature at its reddest in tooth and claw, which is not to say that Pharaoh is uninhabited, just that its vibrant primeval landscapes not its human settlements constitute its primary attraction. <laughs> no, don't go see the people, just, just the nature. Acting as sole exception to this and providing a wonderful treat to adventure-seeking travelers is the port of Harvakin, the home village to Clan Dimun. With a bit of luck, one might find oneself there with when the clan's warriors return from their overseas raids and divide their plunder. A day's long feast is thrown in the warrior's honor afterwards, providing an excellent opportunity to sample local delicacies and observe local customs. For more on this, see the feasts and festivals chapter. This is great so far. I love it. So the Lonesome World Guide to Hindersfjall, the smallest of the Skellige Isles, is also the birthplace of the islanders' culture. Skelligers believe themselves direct descendants of Otkel, a legendary hero who was the first practitioner of the cult of Freya in the Isles. He erected a beautiful temple in honor of the goddess on Hindersfjall. Sadly, the temple has been closed to visitors in recent years due to concerns about the possible theft of the famous diamond Bringsgamen ornamenting the goddess's statue. Otkel, was, Otkel also constructed a fantastic garden near the temple. This can still be visited upon making prior arrangements with the priestess's mother superior. An enticing option for those wishing to visit Hindersfjall is the package excursion offered by the Congregation of Freya Worshippers in Povis. Thanks to a long-standing agreement with the Isle's priestesses, they can offer tours of all the local highlights at a very reasonable price. This is by far the best option for families with children or the elderly. I love how this is kind of like a tour guide <laughs> or like a tour brochure or a travel brochure. That's, that's better. <laughs> Okay, so the Lonesome World Guide to Undvik. Once prospering, Undvik was the second after Ard Skellig most frequently visited 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 Isle in the archipelago. Among its ample charms are a prime location, picturesque scenery, and sublime local cuisine. Sadly, the Isle was recently devastated with some monstrous, frosty giant awoke from his long slumber and began murdering and destroying whatever lay at hand. After this occurrence, many realms issued an official edict of warning, cautioning their residents to avoid travel to Unvik. Nevertheless, the Isle still attracts many travelers. There, 
there are no longer primary lovers of carefree relax relaxation. However, instead they are adventure seekers and mercenaries hoping to earn the bounty put on the giant's head or, barring that, at least get a glimpse of the fantastic creature with their own eyes. Though this is indeed once a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness such a sight, we are duty-bound to advise anyone thinking of visiting Undvik to postpone their trip until conditions improve or, even better, alter their plans and visit one of Skellige's many other attractions active aisles, where the risk of being disemboweled by a colossal man beast is significantly lower. Not, not completely wiped out, just significantly lower. <laughs> All right, last one. The Lonesome World Guide to Spike Rog. Spike Rog. Though Spike Rog is not the most frequently visited of the Skellige Isles, one cannot deny it has a certain inescapable charm. Particularly bewitching are these snow-capped peaks towering over its southern and western shores. Spike Rog will surely please lovers of the martial arts. The northern portion of the isle is home to a famed arena where local warriors test their strength in no-hold-barred bouts. South of the arena lies the village of Sforlag, a home to Clan Brockvar, located on a picturesque bay. Sforlag is particularly lovely to visit in the summer and around the Feast of Bellatane. South of Sforlag sprawls a primeval wilderness that serves as Clan Brockvar's chief hunting grounds. Visiting these southern portions of the isle should be reserved only for extremely experienced travelers, for they are completely wild, inhospitable, and deprived of all human settlements. <laughs> the, the area is crawling with dangerous creatures of all kinds, described in more detail in the fauna and flora section. One should also show particular caution when traveling near caves along the coast, the isle's coast. Whew, got through it. That was a lot. I better have a ton of fast travel marks now. Well, I have that. That one's there now. Sporlag, I think, was already there. Wow, there's tons of question marks. Larvik, Harvikin. Hmm. Well, let me look through my quest log and kind of figure out what I want to tackle first, and I'll be back momentarily. Well, I have gone through all of my quests and side quests that have at least their next step in Skellige. And the nearest one to me is actually the contract that we picked up in Care Trolled Harbor. So, since it's been a couple days, the contract was Mir Diabolin. I think this was a version of a drowner. And the text says, the sea is a source of endless riches for the inhabitants of Skellige. It offers up a near endless bounty of fish, pearls, and amber. At times, however, the archipelago's icy waters also spew out monsters whom even the fierce warriors of the islands cannot slay. The village at the foot of Kertrold, for example, found itself plagued by some particularly aggressive drowners. The local shipbuilder promised Geralt a reward if he could solve this problem for them. Geralt, for whom killing drowners was as simple and was as simple and effortless as relieving his bladder, was certain he was in for some easy coin. Although I doubt it's going to be that easy. So our first step was to talk to the witness. But there is a fast travel point and a question mark. Can I get to that question mark? I don't think I can, but let's let's see what we can do. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Wendley. Hi. I should also look around the castle since we're all the way up here before I just run away and start questing. <laughs> like do some actual exploration. Oh dear. You're drunk as a sea swine. Got to kill Donar. Why? Wherefore? Can't remember. But I know he deserves it. I gotta kill him. Can you trick the eye with me, dear? It's easier, though. Have you his wife, too? His wife is dead. What do you know? So, I'll wait till he weds a new. Uh, okay. Should we talk to Berna? I guess not. All right, you're throwing up. That's really kind of gross, actually. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Carol. Okay, we've talked to you already. Farewell. 
Everyone looks like they're just gonna throw up everywhere. The gods, Lucas, but I've seen them woods. They're cursed, so maybe the gods do exist. Find me a king who'll kill a god and plow a goddess, and I'm his man. Well, what is it? Uh, nothing new with you. Farewell, Lucas. <laughs> they are all so drunk, it's kind of hilarious, but kind of gross. He sang us all against the Black Ones. There's still so much conversation going on. Bran became king because he killed a dragon every Now we to drop that. Huh? Hey. Heard word of a dragon grazing midst the peaks of Aunt Skelliger. Yeah, your mother, maybe. What? What, Nordling? Yeah. Okay. Consider settling in Kerr Trolled out permanently. Horse me later. Careful, Nord. Mean to make your daughter a princess. Okay, I think we can probably leave this place. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> He's just so, like, silly drunk. You're pale. You drink last night, too? I'm always this pale. Crumble. What's up here? I'm just going wandering around someone's castle. Oh, hopefully, yeah. no one minds. That caught a turn. Uh, can I go in here? I can't. Whose house is, or whose bedroom is this? Lots of useful things so far. No, nope. that's eh, fine. I can sell them. Oh wait, is this like a? Oh, it's just. I thought it was a balcony over somewhere. Okay. Uh, how about in here? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, chest. Enhanced riding saddle. Did I pick it up? I must have. And. Or loot. They won't they won't notice they're drunk. <laughs> sorry. So sorry, sirs. Alright, I got me I on you. Hall and Luke was so ample, they had to toss some into the sea. Weren't enough room in the longboat. Tell the others. Wonder what they'll say. I don't know if they'll believe you. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Hmm. There's an armor. Oh, oh, through here. Okay, let's go in here then. What's this? It's, uh, adornment. They engraved it. Melt this blade and forge it again. A sword for cutting, not looking pretty. Okay, well, let's go talk to these fellows down here. Mind your manners. Greetings, White Wolf. I suspected you'd come by. Bah, <laughs> I was sure of it. Oh, yeah? The best stocked armory in all Skellig is right here at Kerr Trolda Castle. Everyone knows it. I'll gladly see for myself. Take your time. Give them all a careful look. Okay, lots of questions. Can you make master quality armor? Looking for someone who can make me a master quality breastplate. Never known a master who wasn't a dwarf. Fergus, perhaps? Say he's holed up somewhere in Velen. And who do you think will be crowned king? What do you think? Who will be the next king of the Isles? Yalmar, clear as day. Lads brave and generous. And from Croc's own line. No better claimant. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go shopping. Well, he had lots of notes to read for quest updates, but I've read enough things today. I'll read that tomorrow or the day after. Who knows? <laughs> Let's talk to this blacksmith. Interested in the weapon? There's a tale behind every item I've got. Hmm. Well, tell me a story about one of these weapons. Battle axe looks pretty old. Even older than this keep, and yet still sharp. Once each year, at Sayavine, this axe speaks. It tells of blood spilt in battles, of burning villages and sunken boats. Might be a curse. <laughs> and might be it drank too much human blood. What's certain is, no one wants it. Uh, okay, okay, um... Let's see what you have to sell. Well, they both have a nice amount of money, but I can't sell them my junk, which is a little frustrating. What's down here? Oh no. 
still trying to figure out, excuse me, I'm still trying to figure out how to get out to this question mark here. I feel like I can get closer. Servants' quarters, it looks like. I wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Hmm. Let's try going down. Got me eye on you. Okay. Who are you kids? <laughs> They're just like raiding the food. Oh, it's locked. Darn, I guess I can't. Hmm. Let me hold you. And hey. is this locked? That's also locked. All right, well, Herm, there must be another way out to that question mark location. Okay, and we go through here, and then, hmm. Hmm. I do wonder how I'm gonna get over there, but I'll worry about that later. So we're gonna head back to Care Trolls. I'm going to fast travel over there from here, it looks like. Hey. Are you serious? What's down here? Getting so distracted by shiny. <laughs> Locked. Okay. The lift got stuck yesterday. Killed hung there half a day before they got him down. I've always said only a fool would hang himself in midair in a wooden box. But sail in the sea in a wooden box. That's wise. You fall off a ship, you can always swim. Fall off the lift, all that's left is the funeral. Is this the lift that you guys are talking about? That supper knives are good for picking your teeth. There's a weapon. Is that how I get out there? I don't know. I want. I want to. I want to see where it goes. But I sent it away. Dang it! Now I gotta wait till it comes back. All right, it's finally back. All right, can we just stand here and wait for someone to push the lever? I, I see a use every once in a while. Come on, there we go. Well, that's a view. I noticed when I was waiting for the lift to come back up, there's a set of stairs over here. I'm assuming it gets you down over, over yonder by those boats. Well, not a way to get to the question marks that were up here. I'm guessing boats, I'm gonna have to to use one of those. But this is so pretty. And there are people. I last tried to kill that horse and mock fag. Monster put luck to them. And our hero fled so fast he lost his catch. That sheep shits in our front to my wit. Do you want to get sword in your back? Yeah, I lug swords in my back. Get get over it. This is so beautiful. You see, Lugos is fixing for a fight. Not with the black ones, but with us. If he breaks the truce, he'll prove himself the madman we all call him. And if that lad of his crosses my path, he'll truly be a blue boy. Hmm. Lots of clan infighting. Really pretty. I really like it. Don't cross our lads. We stick together. It'll work out. And I'll work out. Theory. Last night too. And see the white-haired fellow. Foreigner. Seems dangerous. Your step. A wolvenizer or something. Wonder what tide he drifted in on. He's a Zeracanian. Saw droves of his kind on a voyage south. Zeracanian. That an island. Skitty, see how little you know the world. <laughs> Don't fret. You're safe with me. Oh, <laughs> neither of you know what you're talking about. 
But yeah, um, I really need to get to level 23 because Geralt's going to get really cold, I think, here. Because if you get hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your entrails, there'll be no hope for you. Palmer's right. Shouldn't eat or drink too much for a raid. After the oh yeah, I've heard this one. Drop. All right, so we need to talk to the witness. Strange lumps, you were made. Bottom's almost flat, and about a two foot drop. A Yelmer's command. You right. You got to say this up to Yaruga. Plunder Sodom. Yaruga is a shallow river. Sure, but you gotta cross the sea first, and this thing will sink come the first storm. You said the same, but Yalmar wouldn't listen. He says, I'll die famous. I'll come back a rich man. Either way is good. Mm. Well, I guess we're going to check in with the Boatwright Apprentice. But I do love all these side conversations. New new places, new things. <laughs> Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the Drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin gathering our crab traps off the Kerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full. It'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Oh. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the moir diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. Hmm. So there's more witnesses, so we need to investigate the place where the drowners were seen using your witcher senses. So I want to talk to the witnesses first. And the drowners is over there. There's a quest on the way. Perhaps, or a question mark on the way, or both on the way. We'll see. But let's talk to the other witness well, first. The the black ones. Okay. Who's the other witness here? Uh, just a woman. Are you Tove? I was told Drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Chavilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierag Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched my brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Mwira Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Oh. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. I'm definitely feeling more of a Scottishy meets Vikings kind of vibe with the whole like different clans, and I'm wondering with like the different plaids if like they each clan has their own colors like the clans in Scotland. If I pretend I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's, I really like it out here. It's really pretty. It's really lovely. Okay. Well, the game wants me to go this way. So that's the way we're going to go. Because I'll get to explore along the way. So pretty. Wasn't I just up here? <laughs> With shield made it, that's awesome. Whoa, okay. We might need to save more often. <laughs> okay, so I see beasties. Another victim. Oh no, well let's kill the drowned dead first.
What is that? Blood moss. Hmm. The other victim was over here, I think. Yeah. That stench. Drowners for sure. Lair must be nearby. Investigate the place where the drowners were seen using your witcher senses. Okay. Um, hmm, here we go. Oop, chest, chest. Anything? No, nothing super thrilling. Is that them down there? Let me see, do I have my crossbow equipped? Okay. Oh, is the lair underwater? Is that what's going on? So, search for the lair of the Drowners using your Witcher senses, or investigate the place where the Drowners were seen using your Witcher senses. Okay, let's go to this one down here, perhaps. Down by the other area that I was heading towards. Crabs must be near the fishing ground Rurik mentioned. Mm -hmm. That stench. Drowners for sure. Lair must be nearby. And I see smoke. Aha! This looks a lot easier to. follow. That stench again. Slime and rotting flesh. Search for the Drowner's Lair using your Witcher senses. Am I not in the right spot? Well... Let's uh, quick save again and we'll just go with it. See what I can find. Oh, I feel better with my sword out and my coin on. These Timerian soldiers? There's a red. Nope. Yep. A pelvis. Scratched up. Long, wide claw marks. Oh dear. Ah, uh, more drowners. Uh, yep. Oh, crap. I should probably not do that. when I set off my Igni if I was going <laughs> to blow myself up. Alright, let's loot and get out of here. There's another one over here, though. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Geralt, you're dying! Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Whew! That was close. Let's get our health back. Alright, meditated and got my health back. Let's try to get rid of the I Igni in theory. We'll use it to get back the, get rid of the smoke. There we go, that worked. There was something red over here. Rusty piece of armor falling apart in my hands. Oh, 
hope it's coming back. A monster's lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Hmm. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Well, uh, huh, let's let's go a little bit farther. We've done a bunch of miscellaneous running around today, so let's uh, try it. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Of course they don't. Almost untouched. Hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Mm. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my, what is that? It's of boats, torn sails, lines. Sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here. Unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands cover up my scent. Maybe? Uh, okay, let's go back over here and look at her bestiary entry. It's going to be under Necrophage, Abaya. The bay below care trolled has a pernicious, 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 I'm saying the word wrong, reputation. At times, fishermen who choose to cast their nets in its waters would never come home again. Something would drag oarsmen off their longboats or knock the ships themselves over. The locals blamed this on sea devils, the Skelliger's name for drowners. The truth, however, proved far worse. A water hag had made her lair in the caves beneath the cliffs of Ker Kedrag, an old and experienced water hag with powerful claws able to demolish any attempt to block or parry, and the ability to blind opponents from a distance and then strike with lightning quick counterattack. Signs would be needed to best her, Yerdin to slow her, and Quen to protect from her blows. Needed most of all, however, would be a great deal of luck. So, Igni, Quen, and Necrophage Oil. But I got, but I, but I got to. I need to prepare a potion using drowner pheromones and use it to hide your scent. Okay, we will do that, but we will do that tomorrow because I can't think of a better stopping point and I feel like we've gone on long enough for today. So we'll make the potion, kill the beastie, and then we will start exploring. I, I have an idea of kind of where I want to go, sort of. There's going to be lots of checking and double checking, but I know there's a quest over here by the lighthouse that we can do. So we might make our way down this direction tomorrow, although we'll probably get to like the crossroads now in my luck. But but we'll see how it goes. So tomorrow we'll kill monster, exploring, questing, the normal stuff in New Lands. Now that I've babbled. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Witcher 3 video. Oh.